laughing at me behind the camera but I'm trying to do my best presenter mode. So this is the master bedroom. I'm going to call it part two because there's like a few touches that we still want to add just to get it fully completed. Um, but I would say it's like 80% of the way there. So yeah, I'm just going to talk you guys through kind of what we've done because I know a lot of you guys wanted to update your bedrooms, things like that. So I'm going to give you some details in this video and also put some links in the description. So let's start over in this corner. As you guys know from uh, last time, we did paint this whole room and also the ceiling because there was some discoloration um, from just like a lack of ventilation. But I thought it would be a really nice opportunity to actually just brighten the place up a bit, add a bit of character. So we actually went for an accent wall here, which I love how it turned out. Um, I was worried that the colour would be a bit too feminine, um, but I don't know what you think, babe. Winston's behind the camera. I think it looks great. Yeah, I think it kind of just adds like a grounding earthy tone. I think white all over can sometimes feel a bit sterile. Even though the walls aren't white, they're yeah. actually like an off-white kind of putty colour. I think it just kind of tones things down. My vision for this room was just something that felt earthy, grounding. I think the bedroom is where you sleep, it's where you come to rest and recharge. So I didn't want any crazy colours. So yeah, this is the wall. The shade is caramel latte. We just got it from B and Q. And then this bed, I love how the bed turned out. I actually got this from Facebook Marketplace, um, but it's not secondhand, it's completely new. It was just a really, really good deal. Like it was super affordable. So the bed, um, the material is actually kind of like a, it's a suede almost, and it's cream. So a little bit risque if you are maybe a bit messy or if you have kids. But again, I think your bedroom is really, it's a, it's a sanctuary, it's a place where you come to rest. So I think, go for kind of what you want. Uh, and I really liked this color. Um, I think the headboard's just beautiful. And it's also got storage underneath. Um, I'm just gonna move back and then talk you guys through what I've done with the bedding as well. Yes, so with the bedding, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, I spent a lot of time on YouTube researching how to make a bed look just really hotel-esque and relaxing and beautiful and then i went ahead and bought some new bedding so this spread is actually from amazon and so is the quilt inside that's a big tip if you want your bed to just have that like fluffiness i know some beds our last one it just looked a bit flat make sure number one you have the right size um duvet for your actual bed because we had a we have a king size bed mm -hmm. but i think we had a queen size duvet yeah. and it can just look a bit short and when you have the right size duvet you can kind of tuck it in which again just kind of adds to that kind of like hotel feel the duvet is from amazon so is the duvet cover um, and then the pillows are from ikea again with pillows the big tip is make sure your inserts are bigger than the pillowcase itself so if you're getting like 16 by 16 pillows make sure your insert is actually 18 by 18 that just gives them a full look um, and i just karate chopped these <laughs> kind of make them feel a bit more luxe this pillowcase is actually from amazon as well so don't sleep on amazon y'all um, i'm gonna link that stuff because i have the links um these cushions bought them a while ago i bought them from my last place but i think i still have the links um this throw is also ikea another tip for your bedding is add texture um because i really wanted that kind of hotel feel with like the layers but i think textures kind of just add that homey feel makes you want to kind of just chuck yourself on the bed at the end of the day so that's what we kind of went for um and now let me show you guys these beautiful side tables i'm obsessed with them so these are the bedside tables that we got these are actually from etsy so they're handmade that's one of my big recommendations with any furniture not just for the bedroom is don't be afraid to kind of mix and match more expensive pieces that are handmade and feel really special to you with cheaper pieces that may even be secondhand like i'll show you in a minute but we've got 
a chest of drawers which is second hand that I just upcycled a bit but this I saw this and I knew that this is exactly what I wanted for this room I'm really not into the matchy matchy I know some people love like the matching dresser with the matching side tables <laughs> with the matching wardrobe but I think it just feels a lot more intentional when you kind of pick each piece and place it. I think they kind of just ground, because the bed, I'm not really into the like super luxe feel. Me and Wilson not really into that. I like things that feel luxurious, but not overly glam. And I think this bed, if I had paired it with like white side tables or something, or side tables with gold touches, it would have felt overly luxe. Um, and I wanted to, kind of ground it a bit and I think these do that so I think they call them rattan side tables this pattern here really really durable like she literally handmade these on demand um I don't think they were too expensive but probably more expensive than other side tables we could have got from Ikea yeah so I think they call them rattan side tables this pattern here they were more expensive than we'd pay if we just went to Ikea for example but I don't think they were crazy expensive um, I think I got both for $180, something like that. Um, but they're really, really strong, like proper, proper wood. So yeah, I love how it kind of turned out and kind of balances the white kind of luxe feel um, and kind of brings it home. So yeah, let me show you guys the plant and, and this side of the room. Okay, before I talk about my our beautiful plant, I have to apologise, the lighting in this video isn't amazing because we still don't have a light fitted. We did have a light fitted, but we're actually getting like a new pendant, pendant light fitted, one of those that drops down. So in the meantime, we don't really have a light, so we've got a lamp on at the moment. Unfortunately, yeah, so that's why the lighting's not great, but hopefully you guys can, can still fully see everything. But this is our plant. Her name is Angela. Uh, I think, I don't know, I just, I love the way plants look in homes and I think they just kind of add like a freshness and an airiness. My mum actually bought this, this plant for us because um, we were together over the weekend and yeah, she just blessed us. So it was really, really lovely. Thanks mom. Thanks, mom. Um, but yeah, it's from B and Q. As you can see, it's pretty much my height, if not a bit taller than me. Yeah, it's taller. Um, it might be a bit taller than me. Um, but I just, I love it. This is a rubber plant, and what I love about B and Q plants is because with a lot of plants, they just kind of come. For example, with one stalk, and you have to put like the tree in yourself. B and Q, it comes like it came like this. So all we kind of have to do is maintain it. Um, I've put it near a window so it can get sunlight. Usually I have the curtain drawn back so that it can get plenty of sunlight and then just have to make sure to rotate it so that each of the leaves get enough light. I really, really love this plant and where it's placed. And then we just have these curtains. These curtains are actually um, black out. I'll show you actually how they roll out. So yeah, it pretty much blocks out a lot of the light, which is amazing for sleeping. And again, these curtains are from Ikea. We already had the sliding curtain rail installed. We just needed to, to be honest, when you get the, the rail installed, most curtains are compatible, um, or it will show you in the pictures. So yeah, I'll link these blackout curtains as well. Major tip if you want to get better sleep. Uh, and obviously we've got these wide windows, which I'm absolutely, obsessed with um i think it just adds like a freshness it's really nice when you wake up to just fully draw out the curtains uh and finally let's go over to the dresser so finally we have the dresser i mean this whole whole section is where i'd say needs a bit more work and we're also going to add prints and obviously the light uh i'm thinking of maybe just putting like a nice side chair here um but with the dresser i always think simple is best i don't love having like a lot of things on the top um but yeah this is a dresser that i got from facebook marketplace we showed you last time and i just changed the knobs from black to wooden um i i think with home decor as well like the one really important thing is kind of deciding your core colors and being careful to eliminate colors that aren't that wherever you can obviously sometimes it's unavoidable so for example if you can see here the kind of cool colors are white browns the brass is gold there's bits of silver from the wardrobe which 
I ideally would kind of paint those and change those, but it's not really a big deal. But yeah, that's just one tip that I'd say, wherever you can kind of like eliminate colors that are outside of like your three tone, try and do it. So for me, it was just changing the knobs from black to wooden. It was really, really easy to do. I just got the knobs from Amazon. And like I said, don't be afraid to switch up old and new pieces. So this is from Facebook Marketplace. I paid 70 pounds and I literally saw the original one of this still in ikea for like 110 or 120 so obviously saved a bit of money there um this mirror is actually from bnm really really great price i think it was like 15 pounds um this vase is from h&m home um and these are actually fake i think it's um artificial eucalyptus i just love how it looked in there and the reason i love real plants but this is kind of decorative and they'll probably be near candles so i didn't want to risk them getting burned this is actually a tray i think it's for the bathroom we did have it in our bathroom last time but i thought it just made a really nice jewelry stand um and then we have these candles like just say w and m obviously for winston and mayfair and that's it really don't this little corner we're not gonna we're not gonna watch that because we still need to do some work there and yeah guys that's the update bedroom tour. We are going to do a full home tour soon as well because like I said, we were just kind of taking it room by room, bit by bit, so it wasn't too overwhelming. So like I said, the bedroom's 80% done. I probably want to add some prints, maybe some wedding pictures um, to just make it feel a bit less like a random person's room and more like our room and maybe like a side chair um obviously a light and then i'm going to probably move on to the corridor get a console table in bathroom's done and then we're going to do the lounge so we'll do a full tour when that's done but if you guys want me to split it up we can do sorry i keep saying me because i'm crazy passionate about home decor winston you know he he like gives us i just, I just like living he likes living in luxury. he likes a nice space but he doesn't really love the home decor stuff so yeah guys thank you so much for watching let me know what you think in the comment what was your favorite bit um if you've got any ideas uh yeah let me know but for now bye see fam later